Alright, so here I am at Inferno Metal Festival with Inner Sanctum from India. How are you guys doing? Doing good, man. We're just keen to get up on stage and kill it. Alright, and uh, yeah, how do you like Norway so far? Oh, it's super cold, but the people are like amazing. So we're having a really good time. Yeah, excellent time. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this is the 15th anniversary of Inferno. Um, how does it feel to, be, to perform at such a prestigious festival? Obviously, it feels great, like, you know, especially being called from all the way from India and come, like, you know, all the way to Norway. Like, it's one of those things that, you know, as a kid, like, you know, you dream of, like, when you start a band and then one day you suddenly get to do it and you're still, like, sort of processing it. I think it'll probably really hit us once we're on stage and, you know, when we get off, that whole adrenaline rush, yeah, like, yeah. sort of pumping through your bloodstream and, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, how have you been received so far by the organizers and, and everyone here? Uh, we've been treated really well in the sense, uh, Coming from such a far country, uh, we expect, you know, uh, that at least they will treat us uh, decently and that's what they've done. They've done, in fact, much more than that. Right. So we're very happy with the way it's organized. It's all, you know, on the dot. So we're really happy about that, yeah. Awesome. And I think you told me yesterday that you performed in Europe before? Yeah, we did a European tour back in 2013. That went pretty well as well. So we're really looking forward to the show as well. So. Awesome. And so, do you have also any uh, shows planned around Inferno before and after? We actually did. We were supposed to do a full tour. Uh, 14, 15, yeah, about, 14 shows, yeah, about 14 to 15 shows. But unfortunately, like our tour manager had to cancel because of certain unfortunate reasons. We couldn't, we couldn't really help it, like you know. But uh, it's all right. We're still here. Like you know, maybe we'll get, get a bit of traveling done. So awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So. So how does, since you've performed here, I mean in Europe, not here, here, um, how does the experience playing in Europe compared to playing in India? Uh, it's more or less the same. I think uh, metal is universal as, as such. So the kind of music that we play, which is melody and groove sort of mixed together, I think people all across have sort of received it really well. Mm. So we've been getting a sort of a good review from uh, India as well as Europe. So we're quite happy. I think it's quite balanced that way. Okay. Yeah, but I do feel that Europeans are crazier though. <laughs> so that way it's, it's a lot more fun. But uh, even back home, like you know, we love playing back in India all the time. And even though like it doesn't have that many shows, which I think is good for India because the crowd is a lot more hungry back then as compared to Europe where so things get a little crazy and the crowds are a little more easy going that way and uh, right. but yeah like like he's pointed out like you know metal universally like you know it's <laughs> just a bunch of crazy motherfuckers getting together <laughs> and like uh, like having a good time and having fun yeah awesome um, so uh, how do you feel about the Indian scene uh, developing I mean from from my uh, from my point of view, at least, I, it's, I see that it's, it's recognized more and more. I mean, with more Indian bands pre performing at such prestigious festivals like Inferno and Vakan. Um, so, how, how do you how do you feel about that? Um, see, uh, personally, at least my view is uh, the metal scene is still in its nascent stage. It's quite young, uh, as such. And uh, but as you said, it's it's on the rise, and you have a number of bands breaking out. Uh, you know, moving out of India and playing abroad. So that's a good sign. I mean, mm -hmm. and we're quite happy about that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot way to go. A, l a lot of, you know, um, roads to, like, you know, cross or obstacles to cross to sort mm -hmm. of uh, get to the next level. So yeah. yeah, I think it's still, you know, at stage one. Yeah, right. Yeah. And it must be actually pretty uh, impressive, so especially since India is so far away from Europe. Yeah, I think we have that exotic thing going on. So a lot of countries want to invite Indian bands. Yeah. So I think that sort of helps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you you don't like the exotic term? Yeah, exactly. Exotic. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like if it works for us, we don't we don't really care, you know. But uh, I guess you would be termed as exotic in the West, like just as a like you know de as de by default you're gonna it's gonna happen, but. It's not like something we are uncomfortable with either. We're like it's okay, cool. Like uh, as long as you, as we can keep playing shows here, like we are good with it. Okay. Awesome. It's very true. And so, how is metal received in India? I mean, does it get respected by the mainstream? Um, at the moment, yeah. Well, if you look at it, like crowd-wise, I think in places like Europe, the support is a lot more, and uh, the crowds are a lot more dedicated. But it all depends on like you know the way each society is and how like you know things work out like right after college like in back in India like you know you have to get a job and like you know sort of get there's no breathing time at all so like you know a lot of kids who are in the metal are forced to like get out of it like eventually once they start working like you see them you see a lot of college kids coming to shows but then over a period of time like you know like 
they pass out, they get jobs, and they're just not able to make enough time to like come to shows anymore. You'd see them like you know, very rarely, and yeah. 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 So that's that's the scene at the moment. But yeah, like uh, there's like Rolling Stone and uh, MTV's actually launched an uh, independent channel just for like independent bands, and they are covering a lot of metal, both Rolling Stone and MTV. So it, it's kind of cool that like you know they actually respect metal enough to like you know show yeah, yeah, that on mainstream yeah. television and uh, print media and everything like so yeah that's pretty cool yeah and but so is it easy uh, to like set up gigs and everything in, in india like how does how does that look do you have trouble setting up gigs your own gigs or it, it is a bit troublesome because uh, you have to bribe a lot of people <laughs> that's <laughs> that <the bad. laughs> yeah so but yeah eventually like and still gigs are happening so obviously it's not impossible okay yeah okay it's like that adidas uh, motto nothing is impossible yeah it just depends <laughs> on how big your balls are you just want to go ahead like you know take all the trouble and like you know do a gig just go for it it's difficult but like so many shows are happening and many successful shows are happening and many big bands have come down and there are some there have been some very successful festivals over the past couple of years so yeah things yeah. are going well but there's yeah there's definitely stuff going on i mean i've noticed there's quite a few festivals uh, like yeah. bangalore opener and uh, you also op did you open yeah. for metallica and slayer yeah so how how's that compared i mean because you play a different form of metal you play something more extreme yeah. so how, how how was that different to playing your usual extreme gigs um see uh, opening for metallica and slayer was uh, a professional and personal uh, achievement for us yeah, yeah, yeah. because all of us have this on our bucket list and you know you scratch that out and <laughs> you just sort of feel that uh, you know you've done something yeah. huge and you've grown to a certain level but playing extreme uh, um, you know underground events and uh, shows i think gives us a lot more uh, uh, you know satisfaction with the crowd mm -hmm. you know because the crowd gets right into your face and you know they're extremely aggressive so i think that there are pros and cons of both uh, but playing for Metallica and Slayer is huge and no one's going to like you know give that away for an extreme metal show yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's definitely right up for us so how did how did the crowd respond to your music when you opened for Metallica and Slayer i mean we had a massive response uh, yeah. in Metallica and Slayer because you had crowds of over 20,000 30,000 people uh, who were exposed to you know indian music and indian death metal music and i think uh, it was a great platform for all of us so uh, they received it really well surprisingly we made a lot of friends post that in fact uh, one of these guys uh, who's a huge uh, metallica fan uh, who travels with He's them all across brother. yeah so <laughs> alexander so he uh, you know heard us the first time mm. uh, when we opened for metallica and he's been a huge fan uh, post that oh, yeah. that's awesome yeah uh, so op opened a few doors for you yeah yeah few doors yeah, yeah for sure awesome um okay so for the end what does the future uh, for inner sanctum hold uh, we've just uh, released an album uh, called Legions of Ick. Uh, so I think we'll be going on a promotion tour uh, probably in India and uh, we want to you know do a tour through Europe. Uh, it didn't work out this time around but I'm quite sure that you know either the end of the uh, end of the year or next year we'll probably you know do a proper full-fledged tour right. through Europe. So that was that's the initial plan actually like he said like we just released that's why we were supposed to tour this month because uh, we had a show in uh, Mumbai on uh, 22nd March we wanted to launch it then and uh, then do this Europe tour and then we have a, another launch back home in Bangalore uh, but I think now the Bangalore one's probably going to be like the official official launch then after that you know, we're just trying to soak in as many gigs as possible and, awesome. yeah. All right. okay. the more touring the better yeah. <laughs> yeah. okay hope to see you again then and I'm looking forward to the show um, thank you so much thank you for having you're us you're welcome uh, are there any other uh, bands you're looking forward to seeing this weekend uh, Behemoth and Septic Flesh my personal favorites yeah. awesome. I think this, uh, everyone's pretty excited about Bloodbath